Hey, what's going on YouTube Universe and all you lifers out there? It's another episode of Auction Life. It is a beautiful sunny day and it is junk auction day. Uh, I'm here a little later than I normally would get. I'm usually here at 6.30. It's almost 7, so I'm going to make this short so I can get out and look around and do some footage of what we have. There are a lot of people here, I guess, because it's so nice out. So we'll make sure and see what we can get. We'll pick up some good deals today, I hope. So yeah, let's get after it. See, yes, you see me 
out there, Jake? Set up in the back, all the way in the back. That was one of the last ones there, though. You know, the one, oh, you park on the one side and people selling on the other. All the way in the back, yeah, yeah. All the way in the back. You were there, though. Oh, you weren't there. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing? The guns down? table. just did my little walkthrough and there is a lot of stuff um, I taped some of it if I would to tape all of it, it would take this video would be two hours I mean it's it's a volume amount of stuff uh, the back area is just full and it's piled on the tables so hopefully we can pick up some good stuff cheap usually I try and bring the truck but uh, I have to have my truck looked at, so I got the car today, which really stinks because there's a couple really good size items that I think I could pick up cheap that would be worth money, but I don't have the room, and this is an auction where when you buy something, you take it that day, there's no pickup, so you have to be set to take it with you. Um, that being said, my plan for today is to fill up on as many smalls as I can pick up cheap. I am going to take 
like 50 bucks and buy as much as I can as much like in vo I'm going for volume I want to fill the car I want to fill the trunk um, and see if I can pick some stuff up cheap because some of the auctioneers will they'll start trying to get a dollar for something and if they can't or two dollars they'll put something else with it and they'll keep going and going and going and going and going until where you're getting a huge mountain of stuff for two bucks and it's just volume so hopefully I can pick some stuff up the trunk's empty the back seat's empty we can fill the car up and try and flip fifty dollars worth of stuff maybe at the next tailgate or the next consignment auction in box lots I can rebox lot everything and put it in nice clean boxes maybe sprinkle a little bit of some of the stuff I got at home in there just to what they call salt the box which means when people root through the box, they see something really cool in there and they go, oh wow, that, this, I want that box and I want that box. So they'll buy it for one item, but they have to take all the other stuff that's in it. So we'll see how that works. Um, yeah, it's gonna start in a few minutes. So I don't know how much of the auction calling I can film. I might try and film the one guy. He's a really cool dude. Um, he talks to me a lot about auction stuff and he's pretty excited about the channel so maybe he'll let me tape him doing a little bit of bid calling but we'll see if not i'll be back to do the wrap up and away we go okay we're back from the junk auction and we had a pretty good run today um I spent probably somewhere between 30, 20 and thirty dollars. Picked up quite a few items. Didn't reach my goal of filling the car entirely. Um, it was just too hot. There wasn't as much nice bulk stuff that they put together. And the auctioneer that normally does it was not there today. So the guy that was doing it, he was intent on selling things by the piece. But we did pick up some good stuff, so let's see what we got today. We'll start off with this little pail right here. It's a nice little galvanized bucket. It's got the labels partially on it. It came with the sprayer. The sprayer I don't really want. But, you know, I think I paid two bucks for that. Um, here is a neat old batter bowl. This is pretty cool. I don't have any chips in it. Nobody rear-ended me on the way home, so I didn't get to dent it. But yeah, those sell pretty good. It's a nice stoneware bowl. Um, this came... It's amazing what they put together. This is a Super Bowl hat from 2011 for the Steelers versus Green Bay. It's in really good shape. It does have the tag on it from the NFL. And they put it with this little tray, which has a spoon, blue nose, a nice old little shoehorn advertising Sears and Roebuck, which is pretty neat. This is a tea strainer. You put your tea leaves in there, and there's supposed to be another half of this that would push down to strain the water through the tea actually I think you just dump it in there I'm not sure how it works um, it's not marked well it is marked it's not a great one but it is from England and it, I only bought it because of this little pie plate oh and the hat I kind of thought the hat was cool an old school mellow rich pie plate from Mrs. Smith's so I thought that was pretty neat so I picked that up for two bucks Next up, we have this box lot of Disney glasses. We actually have these in the house. And I think I'm missing one or two to make the complete set. So we'll see if they're in there. So there's a bunch of those and some of these. They're a little crusty inside. I might have to soak them in vinegar, get that out of there. 
But yeah, there's a bunch of different ones like that in there. I think there's like eight or ten glasses in there. Whatever I don't need for the house or she wants to keep them, that's cool. Gotta pay the editor and keep her happy. Now I know this won't this won't go anywhere. Brand new queen sheet set. That's the size bed we have because of our the size of our bedroom. I paid six bucks for that box of just the sheets. You're going in the house. And it had these neat pictures in it. These are kind of cool. These might actually be worth something. I'll have to look them up. I bought this. They call these baby face bottles because it's got a baby face. This one is from Coatesville, PA. That's a neat old milk bottle. I mean, I don't know if it's super old, but I don't have any baby face milk bottles in the store, so that'll be kind of, and it's nice and clean, so. We got that going for us. And finally, I'll put that on the bench. My next project is going to be to redo this bench. Change out the wood, paint it. I always wanted one of those. In here, nice lockable tote. I paid $2 for it. This didn't go with it. This was extra. There's some old car speakers. So like I said, they don't they just kind of stick stuff together. These are old Honda stock speakers. They'll probably just get scrapped. But it's all arts and craft stuff. Christmas balls. Artsy craftsy kind of stuff. But I paid like two bucks basically to get the tote. I will take party game book. I will take all this arts and crafts stuff and probably put it in a box lot for either the tailgate or the next um, consignment sale. But the totes are nice. It's a lockable one. Not cracked, not dirty. So I got that. Put my little speakers over here. There's probably a couple bucks worth of wire in there. I might even put them in a the tailgate. We'll see. And finally, a complete jar of foreign money. All different stuff. I'll have to check. Some of these might actually, there might actually be silver in there. Um, I don't think they went through them, given the fact that there's trash in there. But yeah, some of these, they kind of sound like silver when you drop them. So if I find any silver in there, that would be worth the five bucks that I paid for the whole bucket. If not, I can sell the coins individually. Even if I do three for a buck. People like that kind of stuff and there's a lot in there. So, yeah, that's that was our haul for today. I mean, I see Canadian money in there. There's all kinds of goofy stuff in there. So that's the haul. It was very hot. There was a lot of people there. And I stayed till the end. So, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching, subscribing. I love reading the comments. Um, again, if you have any questions or anything you want to see, or don't want to see, feel free to tell me. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Um, yeah, that will do it for today. Now, my stupid dad joke. Now, if you look below, you know, watch. Stupid dad joke. There's right across the bottom. Um, it's actually a two-part stupid dad joke. Here we go. How do you catch a rare rabbit? Unique up on them. How do you catch a domestic rabbit? The tame way. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and see you next time.